Hello, my name is Diana Castro and you're watching Leaders with a Mission. And today I have someone really special who I would like for you to meet. Her name is Alex Contes. Let me tell you a little bit about her. Alex is a licensed health insurance agent with US Health Advisors. She is a provider of hope, opportunity, and peace of mind. She's a wealth of information with the heart of a teacher that enjoys to empower other people to claim their power and get the health coverage they need and deserve at an affordable rate. And with you, Alex. Thank Hi. you for being here, love. Thank you for having me, this is awesome. And uh, I wanna talk to you because you have a really awesome story and I know that part of what you do is reflective of, of your journey. So I, for the people who don't know you, you are a former attorney yes. who upgraded your life love to joy and happiness and to things that you know bring you the best life that you want for yourself. And um, because it's not in somebody else's terms of success, it is on your own terms. Can you tell me a little bit about your story and how you landed to now do, you know, health empowerment, basically, you yeah. know, allowing people the opportunity to, to get good coverage for themselves? Sure. So if you asked me, you know, years ago, how would I be passionate about selling health insurance? I would have said, no way. I would have never done this. There would not be a dollar amount that you could pay me to do what I do right now. And um, you know, at that time, I was a lawyer. I practiced law for about eight years, um, and I really wasn't a happy lawyer. Um, I didn't know it at the time, but I was very unfulfilled in that career. Um, I was very burned out, uh, and the burnout really came from owning a very successful law firm, an all-women law firm, you know, 40 employees, two office locations. I had the, my girls who are now 10, seven, they were little, they were babies. And um, what came with that was some fulfillment in the, event, in, the, in the fact that we're making a difference. We were helping a family save their homes from foreclosure. So it was good work. Um, and you know what I my role was really helping people understand the process, be patient, hold their hand, you know. And I hated to say it, but sometimes I had to break the bad news. That was usually my role. Um, and I got very very burned out. Uh, it was a very fast growing industry, and then it kind of like took a you know a downturn. And I just didn't want to practice anymore. Um, so I sold the book of business. I got divorced in the same year. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Talk about transitions. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was always like very like bright eyed about like, oh, this is no problem. I'll figure it out. But at the time, I was like, oh, now I have a one income household, and I have these two kids, and I don't have the you know that steady income that I had. So I hit a little bit of a rough patch, um, and it was more like an internal rough patch of really like not like you said, not not being fulfilled but being feeling like i was almost like handcuffed to this career that i had invested so much time and energy and blood sweat and tears and you know i and to some extent i felt that it had caused a little bit of disruption in my family life that led to the divorce and whatnot so i was holding on for dear life and resenting it at the same time um so what happened was i had to go through a couple of years of that like rough facing myself in the mirror and saying, okay, what is it that really matters to you, Alex? Like, what do you really want to do? Um, because at the time, like the universe would, ha would have it, like I wasn't even making money anymore. So then I couldn't even pay the bills or, and I wasn't happy. So I'm like, okay, so I'll, I guess this is the point where I'll do anything. <laughs> that, if that's, that's the message here. And when I finally like got out of my own way and got really clear on my values, which was like, I want to be a mom to these kids. I want to have unlimited income. I want, I don't want somebody paying me like a steady paycheck every single week. I want to know that if I work a little bit harder, I will, it'll be reflected in my bank account. That was really important to me. And not so much for the money itself, but because I was impacting more people. Um, and I would be able to provide for my family at the level where I would feel like, oh, all that hard work was actually worth it. Yeah. And so now it's, um, I feel super blessed. I work my butt off. I mean, I'm not going to lie, but it's so fulfilling. You know, I help people every single day with their health insurance. And um, I think why I love it so much is because I'm making an impact in an industry that is like kind of a mess. Um, and that's important to me. You know, I'm making a change. 
I tell myself, I have a little post-it note that I have written on my mirror, um, and it says, I help solve one of the biggest problems in the United States, if not the world, and that is access to affordable healthcare. Because at some level I do that, you know, even if it's a one by one conversation or in doing these videos and, you know, influencing someone on social media. So that's where we're at. It's so nice that you actually got to, even through a breakdown, you got to a breakthrough in your life. Like you actually got to, I remember we were talking about this one time, actually when we were doing the video and I was like, isn't it funny how you're asking the universe, I want, I want change, I want to feel happy. And I was like, okay, I mean, you're not gonna like the process, but the outcome will be what you want. So that takes guts and leadership for me. And I, I see the way you conduct your business of healthcare, you know, influencing how, people have access to information so they can make an informed decision mm -hmm. is different from even other health advisors. Like you don't take leads the same way, like the vast majority of them do. You do things differently. What is your definition of leadership? Because you have a really different way of looking at things. One of the most important things about leadership to me, it starts with self-awareness, being self-aware. And I got to the point when nothing else worked that I had to just get to, like I said, to my values, to what's important to me. Who am I? How am I going to succeed? What what are the, the what's the situation? What's the, what's the environment? Who are the people? What is all of the? How can I set myself up to win? Because I wasn't about to fail again. I had felt like I failed already before, and so I think leadership is about getting to know leading yourself because you can't lead anybody else if you're not leading yourself and and you know that's a work in progress um every day i i look at myself and i'm like how can i be a little bit better how can i be one percent better than i was yesterday you know and and sometimes and i know this happens that i talk to girlfriends about this we as women will end up compare wanting to be better we'll end up comparing ourselves and, you know, I read this um, quote the other day said, comparison is the thief of joy. Yes. Yeah. And it's true because what we, we I got, I got to chills as I said that, you know, it must've been good. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, but I think leadership is knowing who you are and, and doing you and making your life, everything about your life, all the actions you take in your life, how you go go to the gym in the morning, how you wake up, whether you press snooze or you know whether you get right up and you know do push-ups, or uh, what, how you mother your kids, um, how you lead your people, how you show up for people to help them, how do you go the extra mile? I mean, all of that is is it starts with leadership. Starts with like leading yourself in the daily habits and the daily tasks, and that's what makes up your life. And hopefully that inspires other people to follow you. Yeah. So I know that part of what you do is, you know, provide information for people so they can get better health coverage at a better rate. But you also do team building. Right. And that's also another way where you actually lead. What sources, where do you get your inspiration to become a, a better leader? So uh, that's a great question. I, um, I fill my mind with positivity and with mentorship. And mentorship, I've always been a big believer in having mentors and coaches. And at every level of my life, even when I was broke, I had virtual coaches and I would listen to podcasts and people that I respect and admired because what you feed your, your mind. mind is what's gonna come out. You know, just like with, with the food you eat, it's gonna show in your, in your body. It's gonna show in how you feel. It's the same thing. And so I don't watch television. I mean, the TV doesn't, if the kids are not at my house, the TV does not go on. I didn't know how to turn it on for the Super Bowl. Let's just say that. And because I just don't find a lot of like positivity and things that are going to make me better on TV. So I read books. I listen to podcasts. I have coaches. Um, and I surround myself with people who I want to be more like them, who I look at them and I admire them and I pick their brains. Um, that's something that I'll never stop doing. What What is your number one book that you would say... People have to read this book. I'm a big uh, fan of Gary Vaynerchuk. Oh, that guy. Yes. Yeah. You know, and um, I've been following him uh, for years through podcasts, you know, and what I liked about him is that he really makes you own your stuff. And it's like, take responsibility for your life. Everything's your fault. 
you know, and that sounds kind of negative, um, but it, but it's not, it's about taking personal responsibility and setting yourself free. And one of like the book that I stands out the most to me is his, is I believe it's his newest one called crushing it. Yes. And it's actually where he like uses examples and case studies of people who are, have like really, uh, done, a, uh, created a lot of influence in their industries by building their personal brand. And that's something that I really am committed to doing, which is how I got you know, connected with you and, and, and invested in this, um, you know, and, and so that he's been a huge influence in my life. That's pretty cool. So what have you struggled with in this journey of leadership? What has been one of your biggest struggles? So my biggest, I would say, and something that I'm dealing with right now is understanding that not everybody is like me. Like I was always someone that was super motivated. I sold books door to door in college. I worked, you know, 80 hour weeks knocking on doors in Arizona to, uh, to make commission. Like there's something about me that you could say is a little weird, but it's not, or not normal, but that's what drives me. It makes me feel alive. Is that like, you know, that it's all on me type of thing. That's when I thrive. And, um, and that's been tough because I realized that you can't want something for somebody more than they want it for themselves. And it's honestly the same with health coverage. So sometimes I believe that the, you know, that that this is what they need, this is a plan that really will fit them, you know, that'll protect them in the event of something unexpected, but also save them. But if they don't see that, if they don't value that, then they're not your client. And so the way I would transition that into the leadership role and leading my, you know, leading new agents in doing this is they've got to, you've got I've got to understand their why make sure that they have one and help them get clear on that first. That's where it starts. And then I can really, you know, try to remind them about why they're doing what they're doing, why they want to succeed, what's important to them. And then they kind of allow them to rise and it's, it's a, it's easier said than done. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. So what kind of legacy do you want to leave? Like, how do you want to be remembered? I really, I'm very passionate about women in particular. You know, I was raised by a single mom. And, um, you know, my, my mom worked always like she worked hard, but at a regular job, she wasn't an entrepreneur and kind of only just like, you know, never may, may have not really achieved what she wanted to achieve in her life. And so for me, I feel like I really want to inspire other women to know that anything is possible, that they can have it all. They can be the mother that they've always wanted to be not always the perfect mother, but the mother that they've always wanted to be that their children will you know, love and value. And that creates, you know, helps influence these beings that we brought into the world. And you can also have the financial success um, and that the sky's the limit. And really like the other thing too, is that, that it's never too late to reinvent yourself or as you said it so beautifully. And I think I have to change my bio now is it's never too late to upgrade your life. Yeah. And I think that that's important because a lot of people and I, and I am going to like confess something. I remember when you transitioned from attorney to like health ad advisor, I was like, but I, I saw her as this really badass, successful attorney. Like mm -hmm. what she did this for. And at the beginning it was like that. And then I kind of catch myself doing that. And I was like, you have no idea of the backstory and we're so quick to jump into conclusions when at the end if somebody decided to live this oh, or whatever we put this like glittery unicorn magical i don't know what to something that now she, i see her happier she must have upgraded her life and oh, it chills <laughs> <laughs> it does change the energy around how you see people with love and compassion and also it changes perspective on how you can help elevate them wherever they are that's a great so, that's so great beautifully stated i'm yeah. just so happy that you are now in a position where you get to make an impact in something that you're passionate about and allow people the opportunity to grow that as well so thank you so much for doing this yeah no problem thank you it's and, and that meant so much to me that you said that because we've known each other for some time so yes yeah so thank you so much for being here thank you for taking the time of coming over and for trusting us to do your videos with us 
Um, I do want people to know where to find you because I think you'll make a big impact in their lives. So where can they find you? Sure. So, um, and thank you for having me. I really appreciate this. Um, so you can find me on Facebook, Alexandra Contos on Facebook. And I also have a business page. I'm all over Facebook. It's, a, it's my thing. Um, also on Instagram, it's Alex underscore the health agent altogether. Um, or, and also on my website, alexandracontos.com. Beautiful. Thank you again. You're welcome. Thank you. And for those people who are looking to position their brand as leaders in their industry, I invite you to visit us at fourproductions.com, where if you subscribe, you're going to find more amazing information on how to build your business through the power and influence of video. Until next time.